In this episode of Fossil Friday, I'm going to be talking about the recently opened Etches collection along the Jurassic coast of England that features many fossils of prehistoric marine life. The museum is named after the fossil hunter who discovered all of the fossils featured here, Steve Etches. Etches has spent over 30 years collecting the remains of these prehistoric animals, and in this time has amassed a collection of around 2,000 specimens. All of the fossils on display in the museum come from Kimmeridge, a part of the Jurassic coast. The formation here dates back to the late Jurassic, specifically to the Kimmeridgean era of time, which is named after Kimmeridge itself. The animals found in this place include many marine creatures, such as huge pliosaurs, ichthyosaurs, ancient fish and ammonites. There are also the remains of pterosaurs and dinosaurs. One of the most interesting fossils that are on display are the ammonite eggs. There are several specimens of these which possibly show the stages of fertilisation that they went through, as well as diagrams and fossils illustrating the differences between male and female ammonites. The museum is set out in a very engaging way, with cabinets containing the fossils lining the sides of the hall, and above them large screens displaying a view looking up towards the surface of the prehistoric sea that used to cover the area. In the water swim several of the animals represented in the fossils below. The collection opened in October of 2016, and allows people to have an idea of what sort of animals existed many millions of years ago, in the very location that they're standing in. It also shows people a man's passion for fossils, that enabled so much information about the past to be gathered, and for stories about these long dead animals to be brought back to life again. Thank you for watching this episode of Fossil Friday. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something new. Remember to subscribe for more videos, and visit the Etches collection if you ever get the chance.